Hi, I'm Lisa Squire, Senior Communications Advisor with Alberta Health Services, and this is Health Matters. Joining me today is Madeline Bosniak, and Madeline is a dietetic intern with Nutrition Services, and today we're going to be talking about sugar. So welcome, Madeline. Hi. So sugar, uh, you know, a lot of us really like sugar, yeah. but what exactly is sugar? So sugar is a type of carbohydrate that has a sweet taste, and in the foods that we eat, they can be naturally occurring or they can be added sugars. What's the difference between the naturally occurring sugars and the added sugars? Okay, so naturally occurring sugars, like the name suggests, are sugars that occur naturally in certain foods. So two really good examples are milk and fruit. They both have naturally occurring sugars. And there's no reason to avoid these type of foods based on their sugars because they're part of healthy food choices and they contain other important nutrients. Added sugars, on the other hand, are a type of sugar or sugar that can be added to products during processing. Now this could be to give the product a sweeter taste or it could be to allow it to last longer on the shelf. And we do want to limit these types of sugars because they provide us with calories but little to no nutritional value at all. Some examples of these types of products with added sugars could be soft drinks, breakfast cereals, dessert items, as well as certain condiments like ketchup, relish, as well as teriyaki sauce can have added sugars. But it's also important to remember that our body will use and process all sugars in the exact same way. So whether we're getting sugar from, say, a sugar cane or table sugar or honey, our bodies will use that sugar in the same way, process it, and it'll pro provide us with the same amount of calories. And how can we tell how much sugar there actually is in the foods that we're eating? So there's two ways that we can tell. The first way is to look at the ingredients list found on the package, usually right underneath the nutrition facts table. And when we're looking at this, we're looking for words like sucrose, fructose, high fructose corn syrup, dextrin, honey, molasses, or maple sugar. And those will kind of give us an idea that there could be added sugars in our product. And then also the ingredients list is listed by weight. So if one of those names is coming up in the first few ingredients, it's likely that that product is high in added sugar. The second way that we can tell is by looking at the nutrition facts table itself, which will list the amount of sugar in grams per serving. And um, when we're looking at this, we can keep in mind that about four grams of sugar is equal to one teaspoon, and that the grams that are listed will include the naturally occurring as well as the artificial sugars, so they won't differentiate between the two on the label. So as a general rule, if we're looking for products, say bread, whole grain bread products, or whole grain cereal products, we want to try to find a product with eight grams or less of sugar per serving. If we're looking for whole grain baked products, like muffins or granola bars, we want to look for a product with 11 grams of sugar or less per serving. And then if that product has fruit, 13 grams of sugar or less per serving. And um, the grams of sugar on the box can also be useful for comparing two different products. So say you had two different breakfast cereals and you wanted to see um, which one might have the least amount of sugar, you can compare the sugar in grams and that can help us make healthy and more informed choices while we're shopping for food. Great, thanks so much and uh, thanks to all of you for watching. Remember, if you're concerned about your sugar consumption, uh, check out the ingredients and the nutrition table. I'm Lisa Squires and this is Health Matters.